And so we now have the pleasure of being joined by the stash master himself, Ken Clausen. Get ready for year 10 of Lack Stash Madness. Uh, Ken, can you, can, can you even put into words what it means to get here to this milestone of 10 years of this event? Yeah, Travis, thanks for having me. I mean, this is year 10 of Lax Dash, man, as we we would have never guessed, you know, we were coming to this point. Um, it, it seems like just yesterday I was sitting at UVA with with Todd Fiel and Rebecca Voza, our great trainer there, talking about how we we're going to do this. And and from there, with, with of course, with the Headstrong Foundation, this 10 years later has just taken on an unbelievable life of its own and it's and it's thanks to, to the lacrosse community that this has happened it's been it's been unbelievable to get to this point to have raised over one million dollars in our previous nine years for headstrong has just been it, it is it is surreal to think about and uh we are so excited for year 10 of lax dash madness now you have like a permanent thing going on there are you going to shave to regrow do you just add on how, how do you approach lax dash madness this year it's, you know, I always cheat a bit and I start growing my mustache long before. And, and my reason being is that for all my friends that say, look, I can't do it or I look ridiculous, I, I try and be the first to look as absurd as possible. And so as soon as October 19th hits, which is when we kick off the event, I will shave into something that my wife will hate. And uh, I may switch that up throughout the month as, uh, as time progresses. But uh, I usually cheat a bit to get a head start. And then as soon as it kicks off October 19th, I'm in full stash master mode and, uh, and ready to rock. You mentioned all the money that this uh, fundraising effort has raised for the Head, Headstrong Foundation over the years. And we were talking a little bit about before, Nick's house is now a, a real thing, their second one there outside the Philadelphia area. And it's doing so much good. It, to the people who haven't had the opportunity to visit it, what is Nick ha Nick's house providing and what is all this money going towards that people are raising? Yep, yeah, and so Nick's house is just an unbelievable house right outside of, of Philadelphia and Swarthmore where, where patients, you know, currently there's eight families that are staying at Nick's house while they're going to either CHOP or a Children's Hospital of Philadelphia or getting cancer treatment in Philadelphia. And so eight families that are staying there, um, you know, as and, and Nick's house, what it does is provide financial relief for these families. You know, I think that um, so many families as they get this, this terrible news of, of, of a cancer diagnosis, um, what isn't necessarily thought of all the time is that these families are going to travel to wherever they need to to get this treatment. And if you are from, say, Michigan, where one of our current families is, and, and your treatment needs to happen in Philadelphia, where you're going to you're going to pack up and move. You're going to go there, and the financial burden that puts on families is just un unbelievable. And so, with Nick's house, they you know Nick's house provides over 2,500 nights of free lodging for families annually, and and that accounts to 1.5 million dollars in relief for these families and so uh to be able to have nick's house which has been a vision uh you know this expanded version and now has come to reality to have these eight families in there it is it is so heartwarming to, to see um but uh but it is so nice to know you know the money that is being raised is going to help these these families uh get through this time and provide this relief and it, it really is it really is special to see uh where this where this money is going that everyone's raising and uh, I had the pleasure of, of visiting Nick's house uh, last week before the NLL draft there in Philadelphia. And it's incredible to see uh, what Lax Dash Madness has helped create along with all the other fundraising efforts that Headstrong does. Uh, it's, it's a really special environment. And uh, I know a lot of teams have come through there. Uh, you also did a little something for me last year. And I'm going to pull up a picture because I told you I couldn't grow a mustache. And you just went ahead and put one on me uh, that then showed up on my Instagram page. Yeah. So uh, this is what I may or may not look like if I find a way to grow a mustache throughout the next like month or so. So there you go. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yes, it's looking good. I was, I was thinking you might start growing your mustache. You have a year to work on it. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we can get here. At October 19th, we'll be expecting you to get a little, a little stubble going there. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on it. Uh, before we let you go, for the teams that want to try to get involved that maybe haven't been involved in the past, where can they go and, and how can uh, – they start fundraising and then get involved in, in the whole competition you guys have going on. Yep, so you head to our website, www.laxstashmadness.com. You sign up there, it's real real easy. You can either sign up either as an individual or sign up as a team, join a team, right? So you can do one of those three options. And from there, the concept is real simple, right? Typically, mo more likely, that, more often than not, guys don't have mustaches throughout the year. People are gonna start asking you, 
why do you, why are you growing this mustache? You tell them you're doing it for Lax Dash Madness, benefiting the Headstrong Foundation, and you send them your, your fundraising page, right? As you register, it'll create your own fundraising page with it. Use your social network, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You send out your URL and say, hey, look, I'm growing my mustache for the Headstrong Foundation. Please consider a donation. And uh, every little bit helps. Uh, encourage your teammates to sign up for it. Encourage your friends. One of the one of the, the great things with this competition, right, is it's it's for everyone. And so we have kind of, you know a lot of the the teams consist of collegiate teams, uh, but that can be any level, right? Division one, two, three, MCLA. It can be high school teams. And uh, in beginning in uh, November, we end up having a bracket competition where these teams go head to head against one another. And so you could have, you know, uh, you know Salisbury University competing against Hofstra University, or so you know so on and so forth. And Towson last year, I think, edged out. Headstrong Texas, uh, raising over $18,000 to win the campaign. And so you head to our website, you sign up, you have a ton of fun. There's prizes. We got a great grand prize uh, to, to three music festivals, uh, two VIP passes to three music festivals for the grand prize winner. So it's an unbelievable event. There's so much fun. The competition is great. And the lacrosse community coming together Red, to raise uh, money for that strong foundation. It's been just so unbelievable to see the growth. And yeah, year 10, we're, we're hoping to be the best one, best one yet. I don't know how anybody can sense your enthusiasm and not want to get involved. Uh, Ken, always appreciate the time, man. Looking forward to Lackstash Madness this year. Thanks. Great, Travis. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.